Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is a review of the DGA Vortex, uh, the Proline uh, plastic version uh, that is the signature uh, edition of Katrina Allen. Uh, this is a uh, very good disc it, so far in the month or so that I've been throwing it. I've thrown a lot off camera, so I've got a good idea of what it does. And it's very comparable to like the end of a leopard or you know, drivers of that sort where you want it to be slightly understable and this basically fulfills that mold very very well in fact i would say out of the box it is slightly less stable than say a star leopard of that uh, uh, type of uh, fairway driver and the reason i say that is it's aerodynamically shaped to be less stable and in my experience i found it to be easier to flip up so i'm going to show you a few uh throws so you can kind of see what this looks like in flight. Before I show you the disc in flight, let's take a closer look at it. Uh, let's go ahead and weigh this disc. I've got a scale here and it's set to grams. 175 grams. And now let's take a look at the rim thickness. And you can see here the rim thickness is 1.7 centimeters. I find this disc is decently grippy even after cleaning it up which I've done here. This is uh, freshly cleaned after I threw it at the field. This disc is pearly white. It's pretty shiny so it's easy to see and it's got a green sparkle foil here which is uh, pretty attractive. And if you look at the art you can see here's a vortex here with discs flying around it, <laughs> in and out of it. <laughs> this plastic is called Proline plastic and it feels every bit as premium as it looks. Now let's take a look at the profile. You can see that it's moderately curvy at the shoulder here and this flight plate is completely flat past a certain point. When you turn the disc over you can see the bottom of the flight plate as well is perfectly flat. And I feel that's great for side arm control as you put your fingers here, you know, whatever way you do, but it's completely flat, so it's very easy to tell which way you're orienting the disc when you throw it sideways. Also, this inner rim here, this inside rim, is completely uh, vertical. So, in other words, when you lay it on the side, it points completely up. It's not angled um, like uh, in, you might see on some uh, discs. And I want to thank Houston's Darts Disc and Games for letting me uh, try this disc out. Now let's go back to the field and take a look at the flight lines. We currently have a little bit of a right to left wind, so I'm going to throw a few with this wind angle for now, and then I'm going to move to different positions to show you how the disc flies in different uh, winds. All distances were measured with U-Disc and I rounded down to the nearest 5 foot increment. These first two throws were controlled hyzer release angles. None of these throws were for max distance. These next few throws were with flat release angles at slightly different heights and release points. I envisioned these as either tunnel shots or trying to hit a gap in front of me to see how the disc would handle these lines. The lower I threw the disc, the greater the chance it had to turn at this flat release angle. I released the disc too low here and it turned nearly immediately and then burned out. Lastly, I threw a couple Anheusers to see what kind of distance I could get. The disc went really far with this second throw here. Alright, so the wind has effectively died down, but I'm now facing to where there is a tailwind. If there is wind, but for right now it's basically uh, dead calm. You know, the rest of these throws are going to be from this angle. This first throw I threw too high, but I still managed to get some good distance with it. The second throw I got the right height, but didn't put enough on it. I'd be happy with this one on most courses. 
This third throw I threw slightly up and Anheuser to try to get my max distance. Last but not least, this was my one and only roller attempt, which stopped rolling when it reached the ditch near the sidewalk. So who is this disc for? I think for the beginner who wants to have their first fairway driver, the DGA Vortex can be that disc for them. I think it's for the novice disc golfer who wants to get easy distance with air shots. This may be a 7 speed disc, but I wouldn't call it a slow driver. It's very aerodynamic, allowing you to get maximum distance with minimal effort. I think recreational players can also treat this as a point and shoot disc that's very controllable. And it makes a great first roller disc for people who want to start learning that. And for intermediate and higher skilled players, I think this can fill a slot in their bag as a utility disc and as a tool to hit specific lines they need on the course. It's perfect for woods golf, tunnel shots, and disking up from a mid-range to cut through low ceilings, and it's built for turning in mid-air and fighting against fade at lower speeds as the disc slows down. The Vortex is a finesse disc. It's a great teaching tool, and I think DGA and Katrina Allen hit it out of the park with this one. I hope that you liked the video. I have a lot more disc reviews and comparisons coming up among many other uh, videos, so you won't want to miss those. Uh, so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.